Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, we have seen what do you mean by heat exchanger, what are its classification. Now let us look at the analysis of heat exchanger by LMTD method for parallel flow. Now this is an analysis of heat exchanger by LMTD method for parallel flow. Now what is LMTD method? This obviously we are going to see about this later once we are finished with the analysis or the derivation. Now LMTD stands for log mean temperature difference. Now what is this? We will obviously see later. For parallel flow as we have seen in the classification of heat exchanger there are total three types of heat exchanger based on the flow. One is parallel flow, counter flow and for the cross flow. So this LMTD heat exchanger or the LMTD analysis is quite famous for the parallel flow and for the counter flow. In that let us look at the parallel flow. So for this they have given this kind of a diagram where this THI and TCI is nothing but the inlet temperature of hot and cold fluid and THO and TCO is the exit temperature of hot and cold fluid. Similarly the CH and CC, they are nothing but the heat capacity. Now let us look at the same thing with the help of a schematic diagram. Now this is a schematic diagram. Now from this schematic diagram, you can make it out that there is a heat exchanger. This green line indicates for the cold fluid and red line indicates for the hot fluid. The cold fluid inlet temperature is TCI and exit temperature is TCO. The hot fluid inlet temperature is THI and the exit temperature is THO. Similarly, the mass flow rate and the specific heat for the cold fluid is given as M dot C and CPC. So basically, they call CC that is the heat capacity by cold fluid and this capital C C is nothing but M dot C and CPC. So this they have done simply for sake of the ease of analysis in case of a LMTD method. Similarly, the hot fluid inlet temperature is THI and the exit temperature is THO. The mass flow rate of the hot fluid is M dot H and CP. H is the specific heat. Just like the CC that is the heat capacity of the cold fluid, CH is nothing but the heat capacity of hot fluid. So we can write this CH is nothing but M dot H and CPH. Now let us look at what is happening over here. This point indicates the inlet of the hot fluid that is THI and then parabolically the temperature of the hot fluid will decrease till it reaches to THO. Similarly, since it's a parallel flow, so both the hot and cold fluid will follow the same direction. The cold fluid will enter at TCI and it will exit at TCO. So we need to make sure that the arrows are put rightly on this diagram of T versus X for the parallel flow heat exchanger. Now THI minus TCI indicates theta 1. Now again this is done for the sake of simplification. So the difference between the inlet temperature of hot and cold fluid is given as theta 1 and the difference between the exit temperature of hot and cold fluid is given as theta 2. So obviously we can write it down here. Theta 1 is THI minus TCI and theta 2 is THO minus TCO. Now let us start the derivation of the same. If I assume that the heat transfer rate in this case that is from the hot fluid to the cold fluid is given as let us say this heat transfer rate is Q dash then how to find this heat transfer rate? There are three ways by which we can find the heat transfer rate here. One is using the overall heat transfer coefficient and then the other two ways are nothing but the enthalpy difference between the hot fluid and the enthalpy difference between the cold fluid. So let us write down 
the value of q dash that is the heat transfer rate in case of a heat exchanger is given as u a and the temperature difference is let's say th minus tc now here what we have done we have considered the area as a now this is my surface area and the overall heat transfer coefficient in this case is let's say capital u so this is my assumption for the given metal similarly we have assumed that for instantaneous the hot temperature is given as th and the cold temperature is given as tc so with this we can write this equation and then i can assume that th minus tc is nothing but u a into theta similarly the value of q dash also can be given with the enthalpy difference so that is m dot h and cph the temperature difference is obviously the higher temperature minus the lower temperature so that is in this case the exit temperature is tho minus thi now in this case the heat is lost so we need to write down the minus sign over here by the hot fluid similarly for the cold fluid we can write this as mc cpc the exit temperature is tco minus tci so this way basically we can write down the value of heat transfer rate for the cold fluid and hot fluid and using the overall heat transfer coefficient now next what we are going to consider we are going to consider a small elemental strip so this is a small elemental strip and then we are going to say that the amount of heat that is transferred is let's say dq dash so for this again we are going to write down the expressions so for small strip the value of dq is given as again by this way i can write u into the elemental area can be considered as a da and th minus tc so we can write this as u da into theta similarly we can write this value by the enthalpy difference same way here instead of this value we can write down the capacity so minus c h and here we have the difference as dt for h now this can be seen over here see these are the two temperatures the difference between the these two temperature is what we are calling as dth and the difference between these two temperature is what we are calling as dtc now this is really important to understand that for the elemental strip obviously there is a the temperature is decreasing in case of a hot fluid and for the cold fluid the temperature is increasing now let us write down the expression for the same so this is for the hot fluid for the cold fluid i can write down this as cc and here we can simply write down as dtc now again if i rearrange these two terms i can write down this as a dth as nothing but dq dash upon ch with the minus sign and this i can write as dtc as minus dq dash upon cc now try and understand the difference between this term and this term so this cross need to be given because this heat transfer rate that is this q dash is a path function so we cannot write this way this is the only right method of expressing the change in heat transfer rate now this you can understand in the summary itself now if i want to express the value of dth minus dtc 
I can obviously use this expression and this DTH minus DTC as we know that TH minus TC is theta we can simply find out this DTH minus DTC is nothing but D theta and then with these equations I can write down as minus D dash Q dash and so basically I have taken these two common so what is left inside is 1 upon CH and then the minus sign is over here this minus sign will get positive so 1 upon CC I hope this this part is understood now in this case instead of dq dash I can write this term so my final expression will become u into dA into theta and again the 1 upon ch plus 1 upon cc now let us simplify this equation if I rearrange the term the previous equation can be written as d theta upon theta is equal to minus u a and we have left with 1 upon ch plus 1 upon cc now in this case the area will be there with the da term this area will not be there so you can consider this as one so since the elementary area is there so the da term will come into picture now if i integrate this now limit for this integration will be the limit of that integration can be seen from this here the value of area increasing from 0 to a over here okay and the value of theta is increasing from theta 1 to theta 2 so if i put those limit i can write this as theta 1 this is theta 2 this is 0 this is a so my simplification will be ln of theta with the limit theta 1 to theta 2 and here I will be left with minus u a and in the same term 1 upon ch plus 1 upon cc so again I can write this as ln of theta 2 upon theta 1 which is equal to minus u a now let us try and simplify this part see before we have written for the small elemental strip for the whole heat exchanger we can write this expression as minus ch in the bracket again this delta t and here also we can write plus c c and again the same the delta t value for the cold fluid so let me write the delta t for the hot the delta t for the cold fluid now with this we can write down the value of ch as q dash upon the delta t for the hold and the value of cc as q dash upon the delta t for the cold fluid so if i do so i can write the value of ch as 1 upon q dash upon the delta t for the hot fluid so this we have written as tho minus thi plus 1 upon q dash upon tco minus tco so again if i rearrange those terms i can write this as ln of theta 2 upon theta 1 is equal to minus u a this q dash can be taken outside and it can be written at the denominator q dash so what do we have here thi minus thi plus tco minus tcr now if i rearrange this term i can write down this equation itself as q dash is equal to now this minus sign can be taken inside and we can rearrange the entire term to write down this as u into a and if i take this minus sign inside what do i have i can write this term as nothing but theta 2 minus theta 1 what is theta 2 from this expression theta 2 is nothing but tho minus tco and theta 1 is nothing but thi minus tci so what i can do is i can rearrange those term see here minus sign if i take it inside i can write this as minus 
टी एच ओ प्लस टी एच आई माइनस टी सी ओ प्लस टी सी आई एंड ऑब्वियसली इन द डिनोमिनेटर एल एन ऑफ थीटा टू अपॉन थीटा वन नाउ थीटा टू इज रिटर्न एज टी एच ओ माइनस टी सी ओ थीटा वन इज रिटर्न एज टी एच आई माइनस टी सी आई सो इफ आई यूज दिस देन विद द हेल्प ऑफ रिअरेंजमेंट I can write this as nothing but theta two minus theta one. So finally, I can write the equation as the heat transfer rate is given as U A theta two minus theta one upon L n of theta two upon theta. One. Now this is what they call as theta T m or L m T d. so that is log mean temperature difference so if i know for a given arrangement what is the lmtd and if i know the value of u and i i can easily find out the heat transfer rate so i can write down this now this is given only for the parallel flow heat exchangers so this can be written as q dash is equal to u a lmt so now in this topic we have tried to find out the expression for the heat transfer rate in terms of lmtd for parallel flow arrangement of heat exchangers now that is it in this topic thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda thank you